and it's connecting. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? I thought I'd got it wrong there. Well, we're good now. <laughs> we are good now. Everybody, this is Robert Sepulveda, and you'll know his face. Um, you would rather that you didn't know his face, really. Um, yeah. but, you <laughs> but you will know his face. And the thing is that Rob's been used for quite a few years now. Um, how, how long will it be? Uh, five years yeah. going on. Five years. That actually I know of. So the first time I was ever even messaged about fake profiles was back in 2016. And so there's no telling how long before that yeah. had been going on. I, I think it was about, I, I would say about five years. Look, Looking back to what we've got as, you know, the way your pictures go back. And so tell me about it. What about women contacting you and how it affects you, basically? Well, so before, I, things are a lot different now than when it all first started. Um, and really what I mean by that is just the way that I go about it and my tolerance for it. So when it first started happening, and this was like way back before I even knew that any types of these scams or anything were going on. So, you know, I figured it was people just creating fake profiles and for whatever what else. So I would get messaged. And to start with, at the very beginning, it was always, you know, women that would say, hey, uh, is this really you? Uh, I think somebody's making like fake profiles with your pictures. So initially it was kind of, you know, the way I was approached was like, it was a manner of like, hey, just so you know, this is going on. So I'm like, nope, not me. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate it. But over time, over the years, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And so many women have messaged me with threatening messages. I've gotten harassment from of all sorts from multiple countries. Um, I'll go through my Facebook Messenger once every month or two, every couple months or so, and I'll delete easily 30, 40, if not more, messages that I've gotten just sitting in my inbox. Um, I have gotten multiple Facebook video requests, voice call requests, voice messages. I So many things. I've had to contact the federal and local authorities in three different states. Um, and there's the, the side that I have to deal with from the army as well, because I have a security clearance. So every time I go somewhere new, I have to tell my, uh, my security people of the entire situation that's going on. If something pops up, because I've actually had uh, particular individuals um, from uh, like parts of the army that have contacted me saying, Hey, we've gotten some, complaints or you know reports of you and fake pages and accusations of being a scammer so there's uh, the list i've heard from, yeah i've heard from others as well about they, they they'll find out where you are they'll they'll find out where you're working they'll find out and they'll contact your superior yes i had uh, that just reminded me i had i can't remember exactly where she's from i want to say the ukraine or somewhere around there but i had a woman that dog that she spent so much of her time digging and to find out any kind of information on me that she could and i actually got mail where she typed up a bunch of letters she took screenshots and printed out a bunch of conversations and pictures of me yeah. and mailed them to a previous place of business where i had been stationed at and all kinds of stuff yeah, you see, you see, I don't get this, that if she went to all that trouble after the scam, why didn't she go to all that trouble before the scam? Right, right. You know? right. And how, how do you even get to that point? Yeah. Like, you got scammed, accept it, deal with it, and then move on. Stop trying to pursue me. There's a lot of women that think that I will actually want something to do with them or that like, oh, yeah. there's, I mean, there may be a chance that they might have something or a you. chance to be with yeah. me me <laughs> yeah they, they 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 might meet you and they will talk to you and something will happen and you'll really want them i mean that happens regularly 
Sure does. Oh, and they have pictures. They have pictures of my kids. And that's the part that that's the part that makes it worse for me is so it's one thing to have to deal with, you know, all this stuff going on with it. It's just my pictures, but they have pictures of my kids. Yeah. And these people are fabricating stories and then getting women to think that my kids are telling them that my kids are dead. Yeah. All right, that, and that's they're getting the part money. That makes me the I mean, they're getting money saying that your kids are ill, that you're worried about it. You know, one of the girls is in hospital or something like that. And, right. and it's you know they're getting they're getting money, they they're yes, getting it, money for that. And there's absolutely there's in the in the military, especially when we're deployed, we get paid, we get food, we get supplies, especially when it's this far into whatever conflict is going on. Now, like back in the first like year or so when the war kicked off, that's a different story. But now, no, like we never need food. But you we still never always don't have money. But you've always still been paid. You are not. Yes, we not are always paid getting paid. We are always supplied with food. Now, there may be, you know, like times if we're out on a mission or something and we just kind of run out of supplies, but we are never just flat out not yeah. without food, water, or, but you know, you can't we don't. Get a woman. You can't get a woman to send some money to Western Union so that you can go and get some food. Yeah. You know, it, you know, it, it really doesn't make sense if you if you sort of think about it. And if you are injured um, or anything happens to you, women are also telling me that they send money for your medical treatment. They won't treat you in the army. Unless <laughs> <laughs> they send them the money yeah. for it. The you stories know? they come up with are crazy. Yeah. And they, mm, they, they, they don't, they're not believable. Um, and I yeah. know, I mean, I, I get it. I really do get it. I'm, I, I'm not a victim. And so I apologize to victims. Because I'm not, you know, I, they tried with me, but yeah, I'm not very nice. I never would give anything to I'm, anybody. I'm going to be honest. Like some of the things I'm going to say on this chat are going to sound kind of mean and harsh, That's but okay. it's how it needs to be said for somebody to understand. It does. Because they, they have to deal with themselves being scammed. I have to once. deal with every single one of you yeah. that have gotten scammed. They get scammed once. And it's right. a big thing. It's a big thing. It destroys lives. And some people are very, very trusting and very, very nice, you know, and they're very trusting. And that trust is destroyed. But that trust is destroyed once. You yeah. are a victim of scammers a thousand times a day. And that is the big difference. There and have been. Yes, I, can, I, I lost count. Um, but the last time I actually had somewhat of an accurate count, I was up to, I think, one time you and I talked about it a couple of years ago and there were already almost about like 2000, yeah. 2000 pages of like confirmed people that we have dealt with. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, come on, let's be honest. It's not only women. They have you on. Oh yeah. Grinding. Yeah. 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 You know? There's a, uh, yeah, there's a lot of men that have fallen subject to these scams as well. We had, and, we uh, had a situation with a, a guy who must've been, an older gay man who was scammed. Now, this man is oh, very well guy. known. Yeah. Oh, that was brilliant, wasn't he? This guy is very well known. <laughs> we shouldn't laugh. Um, I can't remember his name, he but he... With uh, his artist, man, writer, claimed that he was a... Philosopher. He puts out philosophy. Yes, yes, yes. And pamphlets. And he had and multiple like pieces of literature that he had published, and he was tying my pictures <laughs> to every single piece. So he was having these these philosophy in depth conversations, things he was publishing on Amazon with Rob on the front, and and then and he was I mean this man is is got a painter, I will say a painter, um in Saatchi yes. Gallery, and he wouldn't have it, and he kept saying, but Robert has given me permission, and he was attacking our our page because we were saying you've never spoken to Robert, I know him, you don't know him. You know, and and this man, it took a it took a long time to get rid of him, didn't it? I mean, he harassed the family as well. He it? had um, he had a book on Amazon that mm -hmm. had my face on it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know how much money that book made, but if you're out there, dude, and you see this, <laughs> I want my cut. Where's my money? Exactly, exactly. But yeah, he was he was really crazy. And the thing is that I find. Really crazy people are dangerous because you don't know what they're going to do. You know? Yeah. He wasn't rational. You know, he really, really wasn't rational. And 
and I, I just find it very, very dangerous. And some of them will not give in. You know, they, oh. they absolutely will not give in. Oh. And, and, and then, that's the worst part. So the ones that don't give in, they make it worse for me. So I, I got it. You know, women have gotten scammed. They're victims, this and that. But the, the other side of the house is what they don't even think about or even consider as those of us that have our pictures taken and used, we are more victims than y'all are. Because I, I've had my picture passed around to so many different women. There, thousands of dollars have been lost to these scammers because of women. So many things. But I have to deal with it. I'm just as much of a victim, if not more, than y'all are. I, right I, back to you saying you got to deal with it once. I yeah. got to deal with it all the time. And, and the thing is that I, I said that, you know, we, we, we own one thing that is really, really unique to us. And that's our face. And somebody steals your face and they put it all over everywhere. That's the biggest invasion of your privacy that you yeah. could actually have. And you are not asked if you want this to happen to you. It is just stolen. And then you're called Kelvin right. or whatever. Uh, and uh, women, like, I have been accused of being the yeah. scammer. Yeah. I have been accused of being behind it all or doing Which... all this stuff just so I could get money. Like, I've got so many accusations and threats. At one point, there was a group um on facebook where like multiple women were banding together to find other women that had been scanned by me yeah. and creating a story that i was the one doing it so they were trying to create this lawsuit against me to have me but, convicted but does that make sense i mean to be honest no. with you if you are going to be the scammer if you are going to be the thief you are really not a very good one if you've got your face there saying oh look it's me why because would I use my own? Right, right. Why would I use yeah. my own pictures? You're easy enough to find, you know. So why would you use your own pictures? That does not make any sense at all. No, and the so most of the pictures that they have, that are that they're using are most of them are from 2014, 15, yeah. and 16, yeah. and they keep using the same exact pictures. And it, I, the quality on those pictures is horrible <laughs> yeah. compared to the way they are now. Like, how are y'all yeah. still falling for this shit? Yeah, and, and, you know, we've said before that um, if you're going to send, if you're going to be in love with somebody and you're going to send them pictures of yourself, you're not going to send them from 2014. You're going to send right. ones that you've taken now. And I can it, prove to women because I'll tell, I'll, I'll date them because I've got them dated on my page. And I'll say, look, I published this in 2015. So I can prove to you that it's an old one. And they're, they're like all, all the pictures that they have of me, even they have some that are recent within the last few years. Um, I got to a point where I just, I said, fuck it. I got, they're going to keep using my pictures regardless. It didn't matter what I did. I would watermark pictures. I would put something on them, but technology is where it is. So it can be removed and covered. Yeah. So they keep taking them. So I just got to a point where I just, I just, I, I can't even, I don't try I anymore. If they're going to take I my pictures, they're going to get them. I think we're in 2020. Now, every single person wants to be on social media. And I object to the fact that people say, oh, they shouldn't be on social media. You should keep everything private. You should do. Why the hell should you? You should Why kiss should my you? ass. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, because you have as much right to be on social media, anybody yep. in the army has, as anybody else. And Speaking really, of, that just reminded me, so you said social media and it's 2020. Here's a big thing that it you can tell that you're being scammed. Every single, well, I'm not sure if every single, but most of social media platforms all have video messaging capabilities. So if you try and like do a voice call or a video call on there and you keep getting denied or they absolutely refuse to do it, that's a huge red flag that you're being scammed. It is. And this is a video call. You sat in front of the camera and you're talking to me. and you're With my actual voice. With your voice, yeah. I'm sorry, Rob, but you don't sound Nigerian, and I've heard you being that. I don't think that I sound Nigerian. <laughs> I've, well, I've, you know, I've, I've, I've said to you before that you know I've taken voice calls of them pretending to be you with the greatest Nigerian voice. Um, yeah. But you know, the thing is that um, you should be able to do what you want. You should not have to think about somebody might come along and take them. It's wrong, and people have got to. To know and they've got to hear it from you it's not going to hear yeah. it from me you know it's got to be hear it from you and there's there's lots of you there's i mean i'm, yeah. I'm watching i'm watching names go up names that we see all the time 
um, you know, somebody with Steve Kaufman. Josh Porter's the same. Josh is, is always um, being accused of, of uh, now, you know, like you, Josh is everywhere. Now, he's pretty stupid if he's using his own, you know, if he's using himself. But this is a video yeah. call. If you do not get this as a video call, you are not having a video call. And I've seen, oh, well, you know, I saw him move. And they've sent me the video and it's the man, you know, walking around outside or in the gym or something. Well, he sent me this video. And another thing is, so like a lot of these videos that they're getting with these dubbed over recordings on there, which are horrible, by the way, I've listened and seen some of them. Like, how would you, how would you even think that that's real? Like, it is so obviously fake. It's ridiculous. And they're all very short videos because all the ones they have of me are no more no longer than 60 seconds because they were videos that i had posted on instagram so yeah. you're getting these videos yeah. and they're all almost the exact same length if not shorter because at the time you could only post but so so much uh time period at once and they're all voiceovers like how do you even think and none of them are like personalized either so if you're talking with somebody and you know there's some sort of um you know, like, we'll call it romance there, but you're going to get something personalized from one person to yeah, another. Yeah. All and these not pictures gonna be and videos, they're yeah. standard, generic. Like, there's nothing personal about it whatsoever. And I've got some. I I've got some where they've, they've voiced over, and so the, where, where the, the man's lips are being moving is, no, 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 I love you, baby. You know? And it's yeah. just, yeah. I mean, they do not, they're nothing like a video call. Nothing at all. Yeah. As we've said before, getting a voice call instead of a video call is fun. But be honest with yourself, because the voice in the other end of the phone is not going to sound anything like this voice down here. Because, yeah. you know, a Nigerian cannot um, disguise his voice. Very, very few of them can. Okay, they can put on a little bit of an American accent, you know, but... But the language <laughs> and the way yeah. that we talk... You can, a Nigerian can try and put on an American accent, but it's the way that we talk and it's how we say things that no American talks. To. I've seen no. so many messages and screenshots. I'm looking like there is not one single American, but, especially American military men that yeah. talk like that. No American talks like that. Yeah. And, and you know, we, we get these, we, um, I want to go back to the ridiculous stories. Um, and, <laughs> you know, when, <laughs> don't laugh. It, but they, I, it's, it's, but they it are, sucks, but it's entertaining. Yeah. So this is, so this is when you deployed and you go out on patrol and yeah. you find some gold bars and a lot of money. And you're going to put these in a parcel and you're going to send them to the woman. So this is such a common story. It is unbelievable. And you're going to send it to the woman and there's going to be an agent, a diplomat, comes and sends it to you. Please, from your own mouth, please tell them that's ridiculous. That's 100% bullshit. <laughs> it is. And it's absolutely ridiculous. There's no, no, there is no. So the way, if, if I'm deployed, I'm overseas somewhere and I send things home, it's... Aside from customs forms and things that have to be filled out and taped to the package, the mail system works the same way. It works yeah. the same way. Yeah. That exactly. there's you're not there's not a diplomat. There's not no, nobody I mean, from an embassy or nothing. Yeah. Because it's not the way it works at it's all. The same with the English forces. I mean, you know, we have um, a BFPO. We've got British Forces Post Office, and I know the American military has the same, haven't you? You you've got a. a a system that comes to yeah. you and goes from you and it's all done within the American military. And yeah. and I think it costs the same. It costs the same as sort of like just sending them locally here. Have you got people wondering why you're sat in the car talking? Um, so when we're deployed, regular paper mail is free. Yeah. The only thing we have to pay for for shipping is packages in like I said, we pay for that, and but it's all addressed. It's normal. Yeah. We have yeah. a normal address. Yeah. It's just written. In, it's just very particular format because it's an American deployed overseas type yeah. of address. So 
like everything still like the mails the process of mail and packages still runs the same it's yeah. just from a different location and, and, and it also, doesn't go through an embassy there's no diplomat yeah. it doesn't go through anybody i mean it it really is as simple as any american soldier overseas going to the local post office or mail room that's set up there and then dropping it off and it gets all put together on a cargo and then it gets flown wherever it's got to go from there but it's the same process and and if and all there isn't any reason at all for anybody anywhere to ask for money but no the last thing that would happen the last thing that would happen is you would get it sent to a nigerian agent and this is what happens so it goes to kelvin olawali in lagos um and they say that's my agent babe and he'll get the money and he'll send it to me no agents no nothing no it, no not at all we still get paid we get food every day we don't ever need money to to pay for flights when we go to and from uh, a deployment country like when we go on our r and r to leave if we're just going on vacation vacation quote unquote or even when we're coming or going like it, everything is covered for us so we don't need money to fly because everything getting in and out of the country that we're in is taken care of by the military yeah and you're not going to go to the local normal airport and get in an airplane there you know i mean that's it's, it's just not going to happen that's really not going to happen somebody's just asked is this such a thing as a delegate in the army no nothing there's absolutely nothing there's no need for a middleman absolutely nothing at all he wouldn't ask you for anything you don't need to pay for anything nobody needs to pick anything up so are we all right talking to you because i do realize that you're sort of like on the move um oh i'm yeah. good yeah there's i'm i'm just i'm driving but there's an accident so i'm just trying to make my way around traffic <laughs> all right um no and 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 you know this is the thing this is what we were talking about that if you say it that yeah they are going to believe it because uh it's all right me saying well you don't pay for this you don't pay for that you don't and and the, this other thing is um a thing that they send out very very often is a fiance form you have to pay to be your fiance oh can we go back a little bit before yes. that um if you want to make a call or if you want to make a video call when you're away they are making women send itunes cards amazon cards and everything to pay for access to be able to call Oh yeah, that's another big thing that they're doing. Um, they're with Amazon cards, iTunes cards, like anything of the sort, anything that's a, of gift card form. That way, when they get it, they can go and cash it in. Mm. But but you do not pay when you're away. You do not pay. Well, in the U.S. or away, you do not pay for your internet access. You do not pay to make calls. You know, it is there. It it is it is all there for you. So um, I'm. There are uh, so it's on the major fobs. There are MWR centers that are set up for us, where it's all covered. But sometimes, um, if we're at a spot that's like if a group, I'm trying to think of how I word this properly. If we are in a smaller group and we are living in an area by ourselves, say like on a small compound or something out in the middle of nowhere, there is, um, we'll contract any uh, like providers in the area that yeah. can actually set up internet for us. They will come on and they yeah. will set it up for us. And, but they, it still has to be paid for, but it's all covered. It isn't yeah. like yeah. I'm not paying out of my pocket. That's what I mean. That's what I mean exactly. Yeah. So nobody, no woman's got to pay for it, and you do not have to pay for it. You do not have to. When you're deployed, you are not going to get emergency leave to go and sort out a wedding for your fiancé that you have never met. And they are sending out fiancé forms, and they are saying, you know, you've got to pay $2,000 to fill in the form. You've got to pay $2,000 to get the leave um granted somebody i just saw one while you were talking that asked about being on deployment they can't get access to their bank accounts also bullshit yeah 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 that's that that is a big one because um and again it makes no sense it makes no sense at all and if you think about it you're going to send people away and there's thousands of you 
thousands and thousands of you deployed. So why are they going to send you away and they don't let you give have access to your bank account? And it's not going to get frozen because your ex-wife has been taking drugs and she wants to get into your bank account. And that's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, common. Yeah. You know, it's, it's absolutely common that they have a re reason why your bank account is frozen. It will never happen. And also what I like the idea of, well, you know, I'm sorry, ladies, but sometimes I think things are funny, um, is the fact that your commander is the one that sorts out your leave and sends an email to the woman to say, I'm really pleased that he's madly in love with you and, uh, you know, and, and signed it sort of General Austin Scott Miller. Wouldn't happen. No, no. Our, our commanders, the only, the only women that our commanders would ever actually acknowledge and talk to are wives, spouses of soldiers. Yeah. And, and they are proven and are known that that is our spouse because there's yeah. paperwork, documentation. There's a bunch of stuff that happens after getting married. Yeah. And that, that is the only reason, the only reason. And that would only be in we'll call it like an emergency situation if something comes up that is the yeah. only time a, a commander of ours would be yeah talking and, directly and, to and that's spouse. usually a really serious situation isn't it it's a really serious situation it you know often a life or death situation it's not just something small so yeah, the commander yeah. is not going to get involved in it and there are there are spouses that will contact a commander directly because they're we call them dependas. I'll just leave it at that. But yeah. uh, a commander would see an email or, or listen to a phone call or a voicemail, and he would go directly to the leadership of whomever it was that the spouse belonged to yeah. and let them handle it. He wouldn't yeah. handle it. Yeah. He or she would not handle it directly. That's not the way it works. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is that, you know, when you go away and you go to Afghanistan or Syria, and and you were telling me last night how big these places are now because you've been there for such a long time. And we, the right. Been We've been there long. for over 10 years. These places are built up. Are big. There are so many advancements in uh, amenities, if you will, that yeah. are on these locations. Like We are never without anything. Yeah. Because the, the way it comes over from a scammer, you're in a little tent, you know, in the middle of the jungle and you come back from patrol and, and you sort of like, cooking your food over a campfire and and these these bases that you're on are huge i know that they're sort of like small cities you know they, they, yeah they found size of them some are. of them yeah um so yeah so ladies please i hope everybody's listened the video is going to go on our sites um and we do get a lot of people watching them afterwards but please you've had it from rob now um let me have a look at my, my list. No, I think we've, we've got through everything. You've had it from Rob now. So you know what happens. You know what doesn't happen. But the place, the thing that I want to get over to you, and, and, and I know Rob does as well, is the fact that don't contact them. Do not no, contact we them. We don't want to talk to you. We absolutely do not want to talk to you. I'm, you know, I'm going to say this as, as yeah. brutally honest as I can. Yeah. We don't want to talk to you. We don't care about you. We don't care what you think you know about us because everything that you've been told is a fabricated oh. lie. Those that have come to, gone to my Facebook page and you see the things that I have posted that are available for the public to see, yet you still want to try and message me and talk to me and harass me and talk. We don't care. We don't. Yeah. I know it sucks that you got scammed, but honestly, we do not care. And what I want to get over to everybody is these are nice guys. You know, these are not uncaring, awful guys these are nice guys that's been absolutely pushed to the limit because they've had this to contend with and there is no reason at all why you should contact him no reason no reason at all he knows you know they'll say to us i just wanted to tell him and i want to talk to him about my scam he doesn't want to know about your scam because there's nothing he can do about it nothing i can do about it and it's the same story or the same type of yeah. harassment or I, it just it goes the list is it's a vicious cycle because it's the same things that come from different people men women yeah. all, I, i've heard it all and it's always and, and the, the thing story. is 
they are from Nigeria or Ghana, but many of them from West Africa. They might have money mules in, in other places. They might have contacts in other places that they do the money laundering with. But most of it comes from West Africa. Now, the thing is about that, that you can't sort of say, right, I'm going to tell him because he can go to the FBI and the FBI can get these people arrested. No, they can't. No. They can't. The FBI is not going to go hot foot over to Nigeria. The FBI has off. much, way bigger yeah. things to worry about than you getting scammed by some Nigerian. Yeah. And, and it just... It just isn't going to happen. And it's very, very important to you. And I know it's very important to you. And I know it's awful. And there's people lost life-changing amount of, of, of money. There's people lost lottery wins amount of money, you know. Um, and, and it's sad. It, it really, really is sad. But once it's gone, it's gone. It's not going to come back. The FBI can't get it back for you. Because as soon as you've sent your money, little Kelvin at the other end is going to get it and he's going to very soon have five chains around his neck he's going to have a new car he's going to have some new trainers depending on how much he's got and the reality of it is in the situation is you willingly gave it over this is it it is not theft it is not classed as theft correct theft is when they knock you over in the street and take the money from you that's theft this is, they are asking you for money and you willingly go somewhere and you physically fill out a form or you hand that money over and you send it. You can say no, but you've willingly, uh, you, yes, they've got it through. It's, it's obtaining money by deception, um, but you've willingly handed that money over. You, you could have said no and, and, and should have said no. Should have said no. And I really, really hope that when we do this, we can get more women to say no. Because the amounts of money, Rob, that are lost are just eye-watering. I've, know? that that I can remember off the top of my head, uh, just a rough dollar amount, I know about, that I know of, and I mean, there's most likely, there's probably more, but that I know of, that I've been told about directly, I've done the math before, and it's almost a hundred grand total, just that I know of. Just you know, yeah. Well, well Pam, on our page um we we keep a, a little running total we don't ask everybody because not everybody wants to tell us we don't ask everybody that comes to us how much they've lost but when they do we keep a little running total and we have found from the first um first of january to the first of august now to the first of july was nine million to the first of august we have totals of 11 million dollars that have gone from various places around the world, a lot of them America, but various places around the world has gone to Nigeria or places in West Africa. Oh, it'll have ended up in West Africa. Now, I'm sorry, but I think these people are knee-deep in dollar bills and knee-deep in iPhones, because this is one of the things they keep sending them iPhones. Um, I don't know. You know, for, for a very poor country where nobody works. They, the way that they're using all this money is to fund a lot of stuff. Now, there any I, I've learned a lot of things about these scammers. So they have schools that they go to to learn and be taught how to scam women. Any one, one Nigerian, just one scammer has upwards of like over 20 some odd women that they're he's scamming at once. Yeah, like they keep logs of the conversations. So that way, before they get back on, they just refresh the conversation that happens so they know where to pick up and keep talking like they their their scam keeps working because people keep falling for it and it just so long yeah. as people and, keep and falling for it they're going to keep doing it they scam around the world so they work in teams because they've got to work shifts they've got to work a shift system just like any factory it is a factory so they've got they've got scammers who work at night they've got overnight to them because Nigeria is actually the same time zone as, as the UK. So I always know, and I get more at night than, than I ever get during the day. Um, but yeah, they've got to work shifts because America's asleep. Well, Nigeria's awake. So they've got to work a night shift so they can scam America. And and they've, they've got to do that. And they keep, they keep logs. They know where they are. They call you babe and honey so that they don't need to remember your name. Yeah. 
so that they they can have their 30 or 40 women that they're all scamming at once if they're all called babe and honey they're not going to get it mixed up so you're nothing to them they don't even know who you are you are that list of conversation you, you're, you're that little chat and they know where you are and 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 you're there and when you think about it rob it's pretty awful that all they're doing is every single word they're taking your picture every single word that they are typing is a lie for money what sort of people does that you know it's just it, it's it's inhuman absolutely inhuman there are some that will even if women that they are scamming will send them nudes yes or interesting pictures of themselves they will take those and then they will use that as a blackmail scam give me money or else i'm going to send these yeah. pictures to whomever like they've done they do that as well yeah and it's it's you know and the thing is they've done the research before they actually get to that level because they've got the naked pictures from the woman but while they've been talking all this love talk they have gone through her facebook her instagram lists so they've got exactly who she knows exactly who she has exactly who her boss is uh -huh. exactly who her mother is or whatever so they know that by the time they get to the blackmail they've got a nice little list there to send out yep. i have to say that sometimes they send them to us which is interesting <laughs> We've had them before from scammers, believe it or not, ladies, but anything happens in Scamland. We've had it before where they actually send them to us and say, oh, look what this stupid woman sent me. And, and, and they send us their nudes, which is, you know, doesn't mean anything because we just delete them off. But they are evil people. They really, really are evil people. And, and they think that by any, any of us or any of you that do something to them or call them out on um, like if you've come across profiles that are fake and you start commenting on pictures or you start messaging people that they are trying to scam they get mad at you like why are you trying to mess with my business yeah. leave me alone like ah, no dude oh they'll say that they're really you if they if they if they're scamming as as you know kelvin clogs or whatever and they say i've been searching and i found and i found that uh, i've robert sepulveda just put pictures and i think you've stolen his pictures they will say oh babe but that's really me i i it's really I, not uh, that no. is the thing so here are here are a few things just by looking at a social media profile that you can that are red flags that you can tell if it's a scammer look at when the look at the following to follower ratio if the the number of people they're following is drastically higher than their followers that's a red flag if they're all of their pictures they have posted or you know most of them are going to be we'll say they start off at like five or however many but if you see a very good chunk of pictures that are all posted on the same exact day and then a time period before anything else is posted that's a red flag that it's a scammer yeah and and uh, they do this they'll, they'll make the, the the profile and then you'll go through it and sort of everything was put on there six hours ago at the same time yeah. it made to look as if it, it, it it's been spaced out hangouts rob hangouts well, and whatsapp hangouts whatsapp uh let's see there what else I telegram mean, um, telegram tinder. I've, I've had pictures sent to me from tinder grinder uh <laughs> Uh, I, I think that's funny. It, actual and not just apps either there's um like dating websites yeah yeah that my pictures are being posted I, like there's if there is a means of them to be able to use my pictures they're using it and it's being done i've had all sorts of i've had pictures of myself and websites and profiles and apps from stuff that i've never even heard of and that are in different languages that have been sent to me i've like i've had all kinds of stuff yeah and and also very funnily enough you can speak many different languages because if you're scamming a russian all of a sudden that you can you can contact her in russian and and because there's translators and you just yeah. set you set the area where you're at and it does it for you yeah so there is everything absolutely everything that you can look for and they they do do it all the same always the stories are the same it's a widow and the wife has died of cancer car crash childbirth um 
they divorced. The wife was caught in bed with their best friend and she's gone off with, with him and she's on drugs and taken all the money. Um, and their mother and father died in a car crash and their great uncle died when he was run over by a steamroller. And, you know, I mean, it is the saddest life. So they've got nobody. They've only got you. And that's the worst thing because then you will be going to become the best friend. So they, they think that you're going to fall for all of this. And we really don't want you to fall for any of it. Yeah. Um, you know, don't don't hunt him down after you've lost everything. When you're contacted by somebody, it's really, really strange because all of you with children, at any time you would have said to your children, don't talk to strangers. And yet you don't yeah, take any notice awesome. of that yourself. <laughs> you, you, you tell your girls, yeah. don't talk to strangers. And yet, Women. You know, and that just so that this reminded me. So, with what we were talking about yesterday, my daughters are going to get to the age here very soon where they will be able to find stuff and see this going on. And then, so now I'm going to get questioned about it, or they're going to end up, you know, uh, unknowingly getting brought into it because they come across it and they're my daughters and and the thing is yeah i mean i i'm i'm saying that i'm not going to say who it was but somebody that's used an awful lot i was contacted by his daughter and she said to me i'm his teenage daughter and i'm the little girl in those pictures and they've used the same pictures since she was four years old they're still using them now she's 16 um and she sees herself being used as a little girl by scammers and she can do nothing about it as, at all you know and and so the thing is that's you know that's the worst thing it is spoiling lives and it's yeah. it's the biggest intrusion to anybody's life that you could actually have you know so i i just hope we've given you all something to think about and there are know, so many things that we could talk about and bring yeah. out the light like this I, I'm definitely willing to do this again. Like we can keep yeah. going. There's so many things yeah. that there's so that there's so much more to it than just. And we've only scratched the surface of yeah. what really goes on with all this. I mean, somebody said there about Queen, my Queen. As soon as they say my Queen, that is the most Nigerian thing that can, well, African thing that they can ever say, because you know they're king and queen, so it's on my Queen, my. I think that's awful. And you know, another thing as well, you, you'll get somebody, and I look at Rob, I just want you to look at him. Do you think somebody like Rob is going to send you a message out of the blue? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He's been so, hunting around, hello, pretty. Now, come on, if somebody said that to you so, in real life, you'd smack the, well, I would smack the face anyway. <laughs> and I want to say something the, else. The thing is, you know, and again, I, I, I'm going to say it how it is most of the women that they use for they target a very particular description of women for these scams and they're either much older yeah and i'm gonna say unattractive yeah or any combination of older bigger unattractive or any combination of the yeah. three um and anybody that looks desperate so those are what they target and those are who they go for and like seriously i do you really think that somebody that looks like me is going to be attracted to somebody that looks like that? Like, you really got to think yeah. about yourself for a second. Yeah, like, do I you mean, really I... think that an American that looks like me is going to be yeah. attracted to you? I've said this to you before as well, that I get fake accounts, and I've had them using Robert, and, and I answered back to them because it's him. And and you, know, I, I, get the, I get the thing of age is just a number where true love is concerned. Now, I'm sorry. But you look at me and Rob, and I don't think you could put us as a couple. And I think, <laughs> sorry, and I think that, you know, <laughs> he's, a, you know he's, he's young. Can you imagine if he, somebody like him married somebody like me and he took, you know, took him to meet all his, his, his friends in the army and they wondered why he brought grandma? It's just not going to happen in the real world, ladies. You might think, oh, I look very good for my age. Well, yeah, you might with your makeup on and everything. First thing in the morning, you don't. And nobody, nobody is going to 
this is not going to happen in anything other than Scammerland, is it? And and they get they get offended when I tell them these things. Yeah. They, they get, offended. get offended. Like I was looking at some of these comments while yeah. I just said it. Some of them got offended by it. I, I don't care either because it's true. Like it, it. I can say it because I am be able to say it as you know a person that's that's older and is not beautiful. I can say that and I can say to them. And I and I do, you know, I I. I do get it all the time. Well, I look very old. My mother looks very old for her age, and I can see why a younger man would want to. Them. No, you can't. I'm sorry. Oh, look, look again. Look. Every time I do this, <laughs> Margaret has to join in. It is absolutely every time <laughs> Margaret has to join in. Um, yeah, and it's not going to happen. So, you were talking about, and I know afterwards it'll say, well, I didn't think that was very nice. He wasn't very caring. Yes, he is. Oh, there's yes, one he is. It's... right there. She just commented. That's yeah. fine. I get a laugh out of that. You can get yeah. mad and upset and offended all you want. I really don't care. Because, you know, and the thing is that he's not asked for this. No. And I'm going to be honest as well. You can say no. When that person comes to you and starts to talk to you, you can say no. You can say, well, no, that's not going to happen. There's not going to be a young soldier who comes up to me. He can't say no. He can't say, I don't want you to use my pictures because he's got no choice. So really, you know, it's very one-sided. So it, it has to be honest. This whole discussion has got to be honest. And, and that's bitch, the biggest... And, and, and bitch down there, she doesn't give a shit. Well, we don't either. Because we are honest. And I'm sorry, but this is life. This is real life. This isn't something online where it's hello pretty, hello beautiful. This is real life. And real life is affecting his life. And it's affecting people like his life. And it shouldn't be. I get thousands of messages of har harassment. I have been woken up at 2 o'clock in the morning one with multiple amounts of Facebook video calls. I have been cussed out in so many different languages. Yeah. I have gotten so many threats. I've gotten death threats. I've gotten all kinds of other threats. I, I don't care anymore. I really don't. I have to deal with every single one of you. That has and this is a guy, and this is a guy who when all this first started or when I first met you, you used to talk back to people. You used to chat to them. Yeah. You used to sort of be really, really nice and take the time out with them. And, and, you know, in, it's not only you, Rob, there's quite a few as well who will say exactly the same. When this first started, they used to talk to everybody because they felt sorry for them. And they thought it was just one or two or, you know, something that was going to happen. And it would just, it would just go over. And it yeah. hasn't happened. And it's just gone and gone and gone over the years. The, the it, biggest, the biggest issues that I've had, and I know I've talked to some of the other guys that have gotten scammed as well. The biggest issues that we have for us is the ones that find out they get scammed and they will not accept it. And they will yeah. continue to harass us and talk to us. Yeah. And they get mad when we call them out. Like, do you, you have absolutely no right to get mad at me when I tell you the truth because you yeah. just can't accept that you got scammed. But they'll accept every single word that the scammer said to them. Every single word. Yeah. They come to you and you tell them, it's not me. I've never spoken to you. It was a scammer and they don't accept it and i don't right. get that. i i don't get that you know when you're saying um when you're when you're saying you know we're going to get married beautiful and and you i love you so much honey oh and they're sending these rows and rows of romantic verse well i'm not kidding you that wouldn't do anything with me um you know that's fine so they come and to you horrible and, horrible wording as well yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, it is. Am. Um, they start everything with am. Um. But I'm real, babe. I'm real, babe. You know, and, and it's it's awful. And, and and we've got to change things. Because nobody else is going to change it. You know, we, we are the ones that, that's going to have to change things. And, and as we said, this is so that you can do a live chat. You can have things coming from you. Not from me. Not written down. Not well. I'm telling you. He said this. He said this. It comes from you, and that was the whole idea. 
<laughs> oh, I just saw Skype. Yeah, don't go to Skype. Skype's no, don't go to Skype. Skype is Skype is such dead technology. It is such poor quality. It's easy for them to manipulate Skype because they can actually do stuff with it. Now, if you use FaceTime or any one of the other um, social media apps that has video options, that's the try and get. If they won't do that, red flag, scammer. Yeah, yeah, and 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 you know if they, it, if it's bad connection if it's um you know anything anything where they say it's bad connection it's bad reception where i am or something like that no it's not it never is you either don't get through or you get through like this you don't get a bad reception where you see this little thing and they say oh i do know it's him because i saw him no you haven't well you might have seen him you might have seen him moving around, but you weren't talking to him. He wasn't talking to you. He wasn't saying your name. He wasn't talking. He wasn't chatting with you. So it's not a video chat. So this one says some of them now, what does it say? Some of them now speak and write English very well. They have learned to use poetry books, etc. Now, although they may have learned how to write and speak English, that still, they still cannot talk like an American talks. So you have to pay attention to what they're saying and how they're wording it. Yeah, and can I can I say something about this? Because this is this is a thing that I really don't like, and that's women who say, "Well, I kept them going for ages just to play with them, just to waste their time." I I I like to just play with them. You're not. Well, what what do you think you're doing when you're playing with them? Because you've got all these women who say, "Oh, but it was really good. I thought it was good because he knew exactly what to say. He knew about the army. He knew about American life." Well, how do you think they learn? They learn because they have plenty of people that's giving them practice. Mm -hmm. But don't, don't, you play with a scammer, you are their teacher. I've had women message me and they'll send me screenshots of conversations that they've had with scammers. And they'll say, just like you just said, oh, I had him going, I, just, I knew it was a scammer, so I kept playing with them. And I'm reading them, I'm like, you do realize like you are telling them things that you know yeah, about absolutely. us. So now they're learning, yeah. dumb, dumb. And, and yeah, it is. And they are teaching them. Once you play with the scammer, as soon as you play with the scammer, you are then the scammer's teacher. So you are making sure that next time he's going to do it better. And that's, that's ridiculous. And we've got another two minutes left. And I think that's flown over. That's gone really fast. It really did. I've been sitting in traffic that long. Yeah. <laughs> I know at first I thought you were just sat out in the car. I didn't realize that you were sort of actually in traffic as well oh i'm i've moved maybe 100 feet in i don't know <laughs> oh, 30 no. 45 minutes hey come on at least they've let you out oh yeah i'm not in quarantine anymore, <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy i'm con right well rob i'm gonna say thank you i'm oh. gonna say thank you no and you're yes, very welcome we'll do this again when you're not in the car as well um absolutely <laughs> but yeah you, you you have a good time and thank you so much and we'll we'll talk again all right. Well, you as well. Enjoy the bye. rest of your night, and I'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye. All right, bye. So, I hope, yes, we're being honest, and, yeah, that's what we're doing it for. Because I wanted to make sure that you knew that people like Rob and people like the other soldiers that are used, it doesn't matter whether it's Greg Gonzalez, whether it's Porter, whether it's Avalos, any of them, whether it's Austin Alexander, any of them they are human beings and what this is affecting their lives badly and i just want you to know that what he tells you that standard practice within the military is from the horse's mouth he's n he's got no reason to tell you anything that's wrong so when the scammer tells you anything oh just scam haters united at gmail.com scam haters united all together at gmail.com um yeah so you know when the scammer tells you just you know and the thing is don't start anything just don't stranger danger you know can you imagine the difference can you imagine the difference if all those scammers that are sat in nigeria and ghana are sat there with their instagrams and their facebooks and their tinders and everything and they're sending out to all these women and nobody talks to them back could you imagine the difference in scamming if that happened that their phones and their laptops Bell silent. Different numbers, look up Google Voice or come and talk to me and I'll explain Google Voice to you. Um, they, they're cyber numbers, the, the different numbers. They're, they're cyber numbers and you can get a number 
and you sort of rent it and it can go on any cell phone anywhere in the world so if they have a number that you have look at margaret she's ripping the back of my chair to pieces margaret stop it um yeah just meow did you hear that um yeah uh, if if you look it up and they'll say well you know it was a new york number it's a new york number but they could still be sat in nigeria they are they are Google Voice, there's other apps, it's not just Google Voice, I just find that the easiest one to tell you about. Um, there's lots and lots of tricks, absolutely lots of tricks that they can use. So, yeah, um, I'll talk to Alan Rainbows, um, but we've only got 30 seconds left, so I'm going to say goodbye, I'm going to say thank you very much, and I really do hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, we will be putting everything on the, on the site, um, so please, you know, um, I'd like to do this again. I'd like to do this with other people and, and let you hear it. Let all of them tell you exactly, you know, exactly what you need to hear. You might not want to hear it, but you need to. So good night, everybody. Well, it is night here. It's nine o'clock at night in the UK.